The church today is an abomination. It has very little to do with Christ, and it's just about control and preaching false. The Pope is just disgusting. Awful, awful human being. And I hadn't realized that the Mass was changed in 1969, as we'll see here, from the traditional Latin Mass that had been ongoing for over a thousand years to the New Order Mass. I'll tell you a little something about why they changed it right there. So let's check out this article. I'll put the link to the full thing below. The Mass of Pope Paul VI was introduced in 1969 after the Second Vatican Council, commonly called the New Order. It is the Mass that most Catholics today are familiar with. It's the only, I'm 36. It's the only one I've ever known. Interest in the traditional Latin Mass, celebrated in essentially the same form for the previous 1,400 years, has never been higher, largely because of Pope Benedict XVI's release of Motu Proprio Somorum Pontificum? On July 7, 2007, restoring the traditional Latin Mass as one of the two approved forms of Mass. There are many small differences between the two Masses, but what are the most obvious differences? The Direction of Celebration Traditionally, all Christian liturgies were celebrated ad orientem, that is, facing the east, from which direction Christ, the Scripture tells us, will return. That means that both the priest and the congregation faced in the same direction. The new order allows for pastoral reasons the celebration of the Mass versus populum, that is, facing the people. While ad orientum is still normative and is the only way the traditional Latin Mass is celebrated, versus populum have become standard practice in the, no, in the new order. And if you look at the picture there, you'll see the high altar on the back wall, and directly in front of the priest is the low altar. Since in the traditional Latin Mass, the congregation and the priest face the same direction, the altar was traditionally placed on the east, the back wall of the church. Raised up three steps from the floor, it was called the high altar. For versus populum, celebrations in the new order, the second altar in the middle of the sanctuary was necessary. This low altar is often more horizontally oriented than the traditional high altar, which is usually not very deep, but often quite tall. Language of the Mass The new order is most commonly celebrated in the vernacular, that is, the common language of the country where it is celebrated, or the common language of those who attend the particular Mass. The traditional Latin Mass, as the name indicates, is celebrated in Latin. What few people realize, however, is that the normative language of the new order is Latin as well. But Pope Paul VI made provisions for the celebration of the Mass in the vernacular for pastoral reasons. His Missal assumes the Mass will continue to be celebrated in Latin, and Pope Benedict XVI has urged the reintroduction of Latin into the New Order. I've never been to a Mass in Latin. The Role of the Laity In the traditional Latin Mass, the reading of Scripture and the distribution of communion are reserved to the priest. The same rules are normative for the new order, but again, exceptions were made for pastoral reasons have now become the most common practice. And so, in the celebration of the new order, the laity have increased, increasingly taken on a greater role, especially as lectors, readers, and extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, distribution, distributors of communion. The types of altar servers. Traditionally, only males were allowed to serve at the altar. This is still the case in the Eastern Rites of the Church, both Catholic and Orthodox. Service at the altar was tied to the idea of the priesthood, which by its nature is male. Each altar boy was considered a potential priest. The traditional Latin Mass maintains this understanding, but Pope John Paul II, for pastoral reasons, allowed the use of female altar servers at celebration of new order. The final decision, however, was left to the bishop, though most have chosen to allow altar girls. Nature of Active Participation Both the traditional Latin Mass and the New Order stress active participation, but in different ways. In the New Order, the emphasis falls on the congregation making the responses that were traditionally reserved to the deacon or altar server. In the traditional Latin Mass, the congregation is largely silent, with the exception of singing entrance and exit hymns and sometime communion hymns. 
Active participation takes the form of prayer and following along in very detailed missals, which contain the readings and prayers for each Mass. The use of the Gregorian chant. Many different musical styles have been integrated into the celebration of the new order. Interestingly, as Pope Benedict has pointed out, the normal musical form for the new order, as for the traditional Latin Mass, remains Gregorian chant, though it is rarely used in the new order today. Presence of the altar rail. The traditional Latin Mass, like the liturgies of the Eastern Church, both Catholic and Orthodox, maintains a distinction between the sanctuary, where the altar is, which represents heaven, and the rest of the church, which represents earth. Therefore, the altar rail, like the Oconostastis icon, icon screen in Eastern churches, is a necessary part of the celebration of the traditional Latin Mass. With the introduction of the new order, many altar rails were removed from churches, and new churches were constructed without altar rails facts that may limit the celebration of the traditional Latin Mass. The Reception of Communion While there are a variety of approved forms for reception of communion in the new order, on the tongue, in the hand, the host alone, or under both species, communion in the traditional Latin Mass is the same always and everywhere. Communicants kneel at the altar rail, the gate to heaven, and receive the host on their tongues from the priest. They do not say Amen after receiving communion as communicants do in the New Order. The Reading of the Last Gospel In the New Order, the Mass ends with a blessing and then the dismissal, when the priest says, The Mass is ended, go in peace, and the people respond, Thanks be to God. In the traditional Latin Mass, the dismissal precedes the blessing, which is followed by the reading of the Last Gospel, the beginning of the Gospel according to St. John, John 1, 1 through 1-14. The last gospel stresses the incarnation of Christ, which is what we celebrate in both the traditional Mass and the New Order. So I'm going to read now the John 1, 1 through 14, which should follow every Mass, but I've, again, never been to a Mass that has this at the end. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory as the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So there you have it. Just another way that the elites and these secret societies that have taken control of this planet have corrupted things, more control for themselves, less knowledge for the masses. And I wasn't, I didn't even know about this until I came across this article. My whole life I've been going to this New Order Mass. Never once have I been to an actual actual mass that has been going on for the last 1400 years. It's a shame. It's a shame that even people who are religious and are seeking the truth are subjected to this. It's unbelievable. The only real way to find, find the Savior and find your inner peace is through yourself, through your own meditation and, and prayer.